Hello everybody, I'm Ramses. And I'm the Vesper. And we're here for... <laughs> That's right, our Spooktober 2023 Live Taste Test Spectacular. And yeah, let's have a hell in good time. That's right, and don't you forget it. And this year we're fully prepared. We got the camera set up properly, you can see us fully. We're all dressed up for Spooktober. This year we're giving you the full treatment as we taste another cereal ready for the holiday. This is going to be fun. I can't wait to do it this year. This time we are ready. See, I even have the moving mouth of my fox helmet here. Whatever. By the way, where did you get that fox thing from? Looks like you went to like the dollar store and got it. What, what, what are you talking about? I got this from a very special place. A dollar store. Look at this. I got the gloves. I got the t-shirt. The I mean, we're wearing bow ties. Did you know what I'm saying? I'm the fabulous Mr. Ramses here, right? Yeah, and that's why you'll be nothing more than a co-host. Well, the host with the most, right, folks? It's going to be a howling good time and a yipping good... Uh, that was my line. You're a fox. Oh, well, what do I say? Yippee? Or no, no, no. <laughs> Screw it. You, you just... Gee, Sonic, this is getting to be too much. Huh. Well, let's move on and get to the main focus of our Spooktober surprise this year. And that surprise is this. Oh, wait a minute, before you reveal it, did you get a good box this year? Last year, your box was in horrible shape. It looked like it fell off the truck. What did we get this time? Well, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Oh, look at that. Wait, 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 wait a minute. That's where I told you to get a monster cereal. What is this? Not a monster cereal. Green. I don't remember any green monsters. What well, is this? that's why I didn't have to get off the truck because nobody was delivering it. Wow, all right, so let's see what he picked this year, folks. All right, so it looks like he got Carmella Creeper. Carmella Creeper. Oh, so it's a brand new monster for Monster Cereals. Okay, well, that's different. Yeah, that's right. And she's a completely new character, and she is once again doing the doing the Hotel Transylvania of being related to Frankenberry, because some part of Frankenberry must have been this girl's relative. All right, well, let's see what flavor. Before we look at what's on the back of the box, let's see what's on the front of the box. So it is, it is caramel apple flavored. All right, so it's a caramel, oh, I get the joke. Carmella, caramel apple, I get it. That's funny, actually, right? No, it's about as funny as your costume. Oh, brother. See what I have to put up with? See, mine's like, how and good. And mine's like, wah, 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 wah. That's right. <laughs> That's why I'm the hostess with the mostest. So let's see what we got here. So this is the new monster Vesper. We have, she's wearing a headphones, okay. She's all grinning. She's definitely a zombie because she has a scar there, right? And she's wearing the, oh, so instead of a skull, it's a, another zombie with headphones on her t-shirt there. And it's a green cereal. All right, it's a green cereal with, so caramel apple. All right, so let's see. Artificially flavored caramel apple sweetened cereal with monster marshmallows. There you go. Let's see what the picture on the back of the box is. And according to this, there's a, a story to it. So, Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry are chilling in Count's castle when suddenly, what is that creepy noise? Says Count Chocula, followed by Frankenberry going, Count, I think your castle is haunted. And then Booberry goes, and I'm not doing the haunting. Thump, 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 thump which is basically bad music playing. Uh, frankly, you should go first, Count. It is your castle, says Frankenberry. I'm not afraid. You're afraid. That sound is driving me body. And then, good old Booberry, don't be afraid. I think it's coming from the ballroom. You two go in. I'll be there in spirit. And then they open the door and gasp. Hey, it's my long-lost cousin, Carmela Creeper, rocking the joint. Which makes no sense, because if she's long lost... How she... would you, yeah, if she was long lost, how would you know she's long lost? I, I Well, we won't ask that. And why is she a zombie and he's a Frankenstein's monster? Well, again, we won't ask that. And then Count looks at this crazy dancing broad with earphones on going, She's spinning tasty tracks, and her even tastier caramel apple cereal. Nope. I call... Lies, Cat would never compliment anybody else's cereal yeah, by Cat would never uh, compliment anything but his chocolate, so that's not true. And now what does she say? Hi, cuz! Welcome to the Monster Mash, fellas. Yeah, by the way, they have another cereal called Monster Mash, which they put out every so often. <laughs> but this is brand new, so that's why we did her. And of course, Frankenberry goes, Carmella, haven't seen you in centuries. 
You're killing it on the stage. And then there's an orange box in the bottom. What does that all say? Introducing Carmela Creeper, Frankenberry's long lost zombie cousin and the life of every party, even if she isn't alive. Woo! All right, put what? it back down, mister. All right, so that's the story of Carmela Creeper. We didn't do any history here because there is no history. This is the first edition of Carmela Creeper cereal. And yeah, it's a zombie who's the long, long, long lost cousin of Frankenberry, and she's a zombie. Again, I don't know how they're related, but there you go. And Count Chocular complimenting her on her cereal. That doesn't make any sense. He never liked anyone eating any other cereal but Count Chocular cereal, if I, if I recall. Well, that's not the big problem here. The big problem is, how is this going to taste? Because last year, my favorite Farut Brute, obviously a long lost cousin of mine, he's just red. The big thing about it is, is it going to be tasteless like last year? Oh, do you hear that, Vesper? Ah, oh, it is two o'clock in the morning here. Well, it is October. There is no time like rain, but in October. Some strange reason. Yeah, it only thunders in the 90s in October. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, set everything up, Vesper. As you can see, we're. Alright, Vesper, yep, open it up. Alright, so pull the whole bag out, let everyone see what. Now that's a green cereal, right, folks? That's a green cereal. With. Pink marshmallows, green and pink. Yeah, you got And we it. still have the nice ghost from uh, Pac Man, yeah. Yeah, look at that. So still filled with the Pac Man ghost, that's great. Alright, so open her on up, let's see what we got. Yep, rip into those claws you got there. Alright, give a sniff, you have to always sniff it through your wait, nose. Wait, right wait, here. wait, wait, uh, I'm going to. And he has a big nose this year, so you better be able to smell it this time, right, folks? See, look at that. And then here's the marshmallows. Does this look like. Caramel Creeper? No, it looks like cheap uh, General Mills is what that looks like to me. Alright, wow, hey, see, he has a wolf's nose now. Is that much better? Mmm. Oh, no. mm, tastes <laughs> like a marshmallow. <laughs> Let's see what this tastes like. Ah. Boy, he's really wolfing it down, right, folks? <laughs> wow! It actually tastes like caramel. Oh, well, there you go. See? I'm not sure about the apple part, but it definitely tastes like caramel. All right, so they got one part of her, right? Right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So let's go ahead. And pour a nice bowl of Carmella Creeper cereal. Whew, too much. Too much. Oh, no, it's too much Carmella Creeper. I put some of that Carmella back here. We don't need all that. Uh, who cares? I'll eat it all. Ow! Wolf it down! Yeah, he goes. He's doing it again, folks. It's a howling good time with Carmella Creeper here on Vesper's Retro Reviews. So uh, let's show what the cereal looks like in the bowl here. So this is like neon green. If you ever wanted to eat a nuclear cereal, like Slimer cereal, that would probably be what it looks like, right? Wonderful cereal, which it tastes like caramel. So I mean, it's already halfway better than that. So all right, pour some of that milk on there. There he goes. Pour that milk, Vesper. Wow, that storm's really going, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I tell you, the lights were flickering in here. Sorry, guys, if we lost anything for a moment there. I think everything's working out. All right, close out the milk. We don't need to leave that there. Well, fine. Yep, get rid of the milk here and well, the wrapper, too. All right, I think we're back again. Was, yeah, the lights are flickering a little bit in here, but I think we're all right now. All right, so we got the cereal set up. The milk is in it. We're going to let the milk uh, flow for a little bit. Get that caramel apple flavoring going here into the milk. All right. So. All right, Master. You have to eat it, but you can't eat it with that mask That's on. right. So let me go ahead and take it off. I mean, well, before we take it off, this is a first. A first oh, live. That's right. Our live unmasking. So here we go, folks. You've been waiting for it. Finally, we got the camera set up right. Everything. Here we go. Master, take it off and... Ah, wow, that was a good one. Well, you really seem to enjoy the cereal, Vesper. You took a big bite. I hope you guys were watching that. I know the lights were flickering a little bit, but I think it's all right. So, Vesper, what did you think of the cereal? I know you you, did, you seemed to really wolf it down there. That was really uh, quite a meal for you on this uh, Spooktober well, celebration. here's my thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. This howling good cereal that is worthy of being wolfed down is actually a three and a half stars now. Believe it or not. 
This blows my cousins the fruit brute out of the water because it actually has flavor. It's not like eating cardboard. Albeit it says caramel apple, but what we're getting out of it is anything but apple, but we're getting caramel. We have flavor and it's just not eating puffed rice treats. So so it's like a caramel cereal. So in that it's unique and different and flavorful for what that's supposed to be, right? Absolutely. It did that much right. And I can honestly say that as a kid, I could eat Carmella apple. <laughs> I'm the fox here, right? I'm the one that's supposed to be the sly one, not you here, Vince. Hey, I'm the hostess with the mostess. Yes, yes. Okay, so I'm eating it down, and that's what it looks like. It gets all soggy, it's the usual stuff. It absorbs, the milk turns a little bit greenish, but not too much. It's think. not like the fruit brute, which was literally, I poured the milk in, it became red. Yeah, exactly. So the dye is not really running off of this too much, but it gets soggy and nice. It does have a good flavor. And it's definitely a monster cereal. It has the Pac-Man ghost and the marshmallows and a flavor. That's all you get out of a monster cereal these days. So we'll take that for what it's worth. Absolutely. And that being said, I highly actually recommend this cereal as one to eat because Fruit Brute went off the market for a reason. The introduction of this new character is absolutely lame, like this Kai's costume. That being said, this is good. I, if you like caramel, you'll like this. It actually comes across, but don't expect any apple out of this. If you want a good apple cereal, go back to Apple Jacks. If you want wait caramel, wait, wait, wait this a minute. Is... Everyone knows in the commercial they say Apple Jacks doesn't taste like apples. Why do you like it? We just do. I like Apple Jacks. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like apples. That's from the commercial. Should I show them the commercial, folks? I am totally bored. Okay, somebody get the spoon. You got the Apple Jacks. Yes! What are you dweebs doing? They are beeswax. You like that stuff? We love it. It's called Apple Jacks, you know. Really? And it doesn't taste like apple. That is why we like it anyway. Really? Then why? None of your beeswax. Yeah! yeah. Kellogg's Apple Jack cereal is part of this complete breakfast. We eat what we like. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, but let's talk about this. So, yes, if you want caramel, good. If you want caramel apple, probably not so much. But caramel, yes, this is the cereal to go for. Is that what your assessment is? Of Absolutely. It? And now, let's wrap this up. So that was our live taste test for 2023 Spooktober. And you guys say we don't go all out. I think this is going all out. We use the Vespa Studios once again. We'll have to clean it up again. Maybe next year we'll get a little better here. But you know, that's on your job. You're supposed to clean the storeroom. We keep doing it down here, and you're just like, oh, it's fine the way it is. It's on your job list. Vespa, I have so much to do. You know who edits all the videos and has to get everything ready and who does all the sound work? Excuses, and all the excuses. Who's the little Mr. Fox compared to the big, bad, bad wolf? wolf? He does seem a little taller than me now that we think about it, and I do feel kind of small. <laughs> you know, I'm getting a little scared here. Uh, he, he's really getting wolfed out here a little bit. <laughs> but he wouldn't do anything to me, folks. He, he you know, no. You better be thankful I have this caramel apple to do. <laughs> you, you can't are. have any. Well, wait a minute. I, I'm supposed to get some of this, too. No, you're not. My caramel That's apple. My caramel. All right, caramel is going out with the wolf werewolf now. So anyway, that was our Spooktober celebration. Let us know if you guys have tried Carmella. Let us know what you think about it. And he's wolfing it down again. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry for his behavior, folks. Sometimes he gets too into character here. You know, we were doing a fun little skit here, and now uh, look at this. I'm getting out of here, folks, before he starts having that fox sandwich on his neck to go with his Carmella. I'll see you guys next time. Happy Spooktober from Best Retro Reviews. I hope you Mike! I hope you guys enjoyed it. Precious! I'm getting out of here. Uh, if you don't see a fox again, please know what happened. At least we have the proof here. I'm getting out of here. I'll see you guys later. And we'll all see you next time for some more monstrously good Spooktober cereal. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and... Ring that bell. We'll see you all next time. Vester's Retro Reviews for a howling good time. Hey, you're getting very good at that. Uh, Vester, why are you drooling? Uh... <laughs>